has to pass a lot against Connecticut, but obviously I think Syracuse is a different animal. Mm -hmm. How you, can you guys get that passing game to go and to take the pressure off of John and AJ? Uh, no, uh, most definitely. I think we can. Um, it's just a situation where kind of the weather, the wind, uh, kind of came into factor, as you saw, as we had some uncharacteristic drops. Um, and it's just something that you just have to deal with. I mean, both teams have to deal with that. And I mean, AJ and um, John were very hot. They're running the ball very well. So, I mean, you just feed what's continually working for you. So, there's no need to really change up and try and do anything too over the top. So, still perfect. Have you ever played in the dome before? Um, so I've been to the Carrier Dome, yeah. but I was hurt that season, so I did not actually play in the game. But um, I, I really liked the Dome. It was, a, it was a very cool atmosphere. It was very unique. It gets pretty rowdy in there. Uh, they have a, a very good fan base. Um, so I'm definitely excited. And like uh, Ty was alluding to, it's a, definitely a rivalry game. It's been pretty scrappy over my four years of being here. So um, I'm definitely excited to see how this year turns out. But just the climate control, how does it change? Does it change how you quarterback your position? You know, no, no wind. You don't have to factor any of that stuff in. No, I mean you just play like it's just a nice sunny day out. I mean, okay. yeah. <laughs> so it's not nothing, uh, nothing too uh, much that you have to put into it. It's just go out there, play your game, and just throw and catch the ball and just play efficient offense. Uh, Darius, I would guess the 53 yard run by AJ when it was watched by the team. Mm -hmm. That was probably a cool moment. Yes, it was. <laughs> what was that like when everyone sort of watched him carrying it in five guys? <laughs> um, it, it was it was definitely very. Uh, Interesting moment to see because um, just seeing, knowing that he's only a freshman and knowing what he's capable of doing. And then also it was great to see like people like that, Smith and Charlie Callahan coming all the way from across the field, helping push that surge in and get him into the end zone. And that's just kind of just the, our identity as offenses. We all play for each other. We're all trying to help each other for our common goal of just winning football games. So, I mean, that was just awesome to see overall. I asked Ty about the confidence. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's had to change from, I mean, I know you guys had faith in what you could do mm -hmm. back in August and September, but when it starts to equate to wins, how does that affect the day-to-day -day of practice when you're starting to see things in the wind column? Um, so it, it, it definitely um, affects you a lot. Um, it's a situation where once you start to win, then you really can really buy into it because you understand it's there, but when it's still not going right, you just kind of question things. But now it kind of um, validifies the whole situation that, yes, what, what we're buying into, our offense, our defense, kind of our whole team philosophy, it does work. All we have to do is just keep at it and just keep grinding and it's going to pay off for us in the end.